I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's what you need to know today. First, another sex scandal at the Cleveland Police Department. A woman claims she was part of an alcohol-fueled weekend with two married police officers and another woman at a rented cabin in Gatlinburg. Police say officers Carl Walls and Chad Nave brought women they both met on duty to the cabin July 30th. One was a 20-year-old intern from a ride-along. The other was a 30-year-old woman who had reported domestic violence. The 30-year-old now claims Walls fed her hydrocodone and forced her to have sex with him. Walls admits an affair with the woman but denies assaulting her. Both officers are on paid administrative leave. Authorities say two special needs children may have been caged for months in a North Georgia home. Deputies say they found an 11-year-old boy in a cage and saw another cage apparently built to hold an 8-year-old girl. The children's 34-year-old mom, Stephanie Elizabeth Stone, and another woman, Wanda Sue Redfern, have been arrested in Chatsworth. Both are charged with cruelty to children and false imprisonment. They're being held without bond. A 20-year-old Chattanooga man is charged with two counts of child rape. Quintus McCaleb was arrested at the Chat Inn. He faces a $100,000 bond and is scheduled to appear in court August 21st. Two men were shot in Chattanooga Sunday morning. 33-year-old Michael Boone was shot in the buttock while he was walking down a street on the east side. Another man was shot outside East Lake Courts. Reginald McGruder says a black man robbed him of $200 and shot him in the ankle. The fugitive truck driver wanted in a nine-vehicle crash on I-75 in Chattanooga has been arrested. 39-year-old Ben Brewer was arrested in Lexington, Kentucky Friday night. He'll be extradited to Chattanooga to await trial. He's charged with six counts of vehicular homicide and could face decades in prison. The cookout restaurant chain is expanding to Chattanooga. In the next two months, locations will open on Highway 153 and East Brainerd Road. The company plans to hire 100 employees for the restaurants. Cookout hopes to open up to 10 stores in the region in the next three years. Dollywood is building the world's fastest wooden roller coaster. The $22 million ride called the Lightning Rod will launch riders up to a top speed of 73 miles per hour. It's the largest single investment in the park's history. It should be ready by March 2016. Four people are arrested after police say Boyd Buchanan School was burglarized. Authorities say they found 21 MacBooks and 25 iPads belonging to the school in an SUV. The suspects include a 17-year-old girl and an 11-year-old boy. Two 18-year-olds, Deshaun Cummings and Cameron Barnetton, were also arrested. A permanent memorial will be dedicated on the one-month anniversary of the July 16th attacks in Chattanooga. Also, the U.S. Navy says it plans to station armed guards at reserve centers across the nation. The dedication ceremony will be held at 4 p.m. August 16th outside the recruiting center on Lee Highway. The public is invited. Hutchison Medical Center is taking over Walker County's ambulance service. The hospital authority says it voted to take over the operation for free. That means the hospital is taking over a service that consistently loses money. But Hutchison's CEO hints the ambulances will now deliver more patients to Hutchison, who otherwise would have been sent to a hospital in Chattanooga. The switch begins October 1st. Finally, Witch Witch Superior Sandwiches is opening its first location in Chattanooga. The chain's newest store opens today in the University Center on UTC's campus. Turning to weather, we may see storms later today with a high near 92 degrees. Tonight's low will be around 73. That's it for today's news. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news at timesfreepress.com.